Okay, the following table gives the number I equals M of T in millions of Americans with internet access T years after 1950. So we're going to look at this table here and although I told you in a previous problem we don't want to extrapolate and this one we will for the last question. We're going to predict, make a prediction. <clears throat> so this is the last part of 1.1 so you'll just move on to the homework after watching this but make sure you write everything up submit your notes and then do the electronic homework and again put me in faster speed maybe one and a half times find m of 45 and explain its meaning using everyday language so I want you to try that one. You're going to just um, look over here. Make sure you pay attention to the headers to know that they're not switched up. Sometimes that happens. You'll see, I think, one or two homeworks like that, maybe even a quiz that you have to really pay attention to what your headers are. So the output may not be on the right always. So go ahead and try that one. You can also probably do M of T equals 172 and explain its meaning. It's very similar to what you did in the last problem, except it's a table instead of a graph. Okay, so for um, part A of number four, we have M of 45 equals 40. So I just found the 45 uh, where T was equal to 45 and looked over in the right hand column and found 40 and I'm making sure that is M of T. <clears throat> then I add um, 45 onto my base T year is 1950. So I have in 1995, 40 million Americans had internet access. Then for part B, I'm looking on the last row there, I found uh, 172 on the right and then looked over to the left to find my T is 55 add that on to 1950 and I get in 2005 172 million Americans had internet access. For part C find the average yearly change in internet access for between the year 2000 and 2005 so we're doing an AROC. <clears throat> so this is pretty common. You don't necessarily need to write the formula out each time, but do write out your numbers that you're putting in. So we're going to use the points that we had from part A and part B and just go ahead and crunch those numbers. So we have 172 minus, um, I guess we're just using part B and we have to look up for year 2000, which our output would be 113, and then divided by the um, T values for those, so make sure you don't crisscross them. We have 55 minus 50, and then that equals 59 over 5. Go ahead and just crunch numbers. You can use the calculator for that. 11.8 per year. So that's, we could write that out with a bunch of zeros, but I think it's fine. 11.8 million is pretty everyday language to use. So we would write an average increase of 11.8 million Americans with access per year. So we have to make sure that's from 2000 to 2005. So that's what, what um, the average yearly change is. Okay, for part D, we're going to use the average rate of change to estimate the internet access this year. This is where we're going to extrapolate off a bit. So we want to use the most recent piece of data, which would be the um, last line of our table up here. And so we have in 2005, that'll be our year zero. There were 172 million uh, people with internet access, well, Americans. So we have 0, 172, so that's our y intercept. So if you start there and then use the slope that you found in the or average rate of change that you found in part C, that will work 
really well. Um, so make sure you just subtract off your um, years that we have now. So from 2005 up to 2020, we're going to have 15 years to plug in. Okay, so find T, that'll be M of 15, right? Okay, so when we plug 15 in for T, we're going to get 172 plus 177, and then that comes out to be 349. So <clears throat> approximately 349 million Americans have access to the internet in 2020. Okay, so that's it for this section 1.1. So you'll move on now to, uh, after you submit your notes, to doing your electronic homework and then your paper homework. On the paper homework, make sure you do check the answer key. And then if you have more questions, let me know. I usually don't provide all the solutions to the um, paper homework, but if you want one written up, let me know. I'll provide that upon request. So have a great day.